One of the things you're looking for when you're walking on your dam faces would be signs of any kind of burrowing animal. Of course, the burrow itself. But there are other more subtle signs like a pathway through the vegetation or a slide that might have been through the vegetation that might have been made by a beaver or muskrat. Uh, these guys typically will not leave anything that you can see most of the time except for that pathway or slide. They're going to start burrowing under the water and they're going to want to work their way, their burrow up to the top of your dam. That's why sometimes when you're walking across the face of a dam or the top of a dam, you'll see an area that has collapsed. That's a beaver den that has collapsed, and that is a very bad thing. If anything cause, creates a pathway for water to begin flowing across the top of your dam, that's called overtopping, and that's a major way to have a catastrophic dam loss. The other way you can lose your dam, of course, is if water is flowing directly through a gopher burrow begins to flow through a gopher burrow or through some decaying tree roots that have been allowed to grow on your on your dam. Uh, that's called piping. That too is a catastrophic uh, way to lose your dam. So get out once a year and walk your dam faces and pay attention to what's going on and if you see something don't go into denial pick up the phone and call the Natural Resource Conservation Service to get their opinion. Maybe take some pictures, maybe flag it if it's going to be hard to find again, but be proactive, uh, be early in detecting problems and you will save yourself a lot of grief later on. The other thing to watch with dams and so forth would be the spillways. Your dam should have two spillways. The first place that water overflows is called the primary spillway. In smaller ponds, that's typically a trickle tube, but it might be an internal standpipe or a tower of some sort. You need to look at that structure, make sure it's not clogged by anything, make sure it's not collapsing. Next, you need to look for the secondary spillway, which is generally a broad, flat, grassy path for the extra heavy flows to go around the edge, or not the edge, but the, the go uh, around the uh, uh, and avoid the dam uh, and exit the pond without creating a risk to the dam structure itself. Secondary spillways need to be very well vegetated. They are very vulnerable to erosion. If you see any signs of erosion, again, do not deny the problem. Take steps to correct it early before the erosion becomes serious. The outside toe of the dam is one place where erosion typically starts on a spillway. So, Pay attention to that anytime you've had you have had an overflow event.